guys, welcome back to the social cut. I'm Steve. Thanks for watching, fellas. We're always going over uh, things about what you should do to make your hair look better. Today, we're going to go over things you need to stop doing to make your hair look better. So, fellas, this is top five things you need to stop doing to make your hair look better. All right, so let's get into it. Number one, fellas, this is probably the most common question I get about taking care of your hair, and it's shampooing am i shampooing too much too little how often should i shampoo well this really depends on your lifestyle the length of your hair if you have a long short uh how oily your hair gets how sweaty you get so it really depends but more often than not i feel like too many guys shampoo their hair way too much so let's just go over if you have, uh, let's say, kind of a comb over four or five inches on the top. Nothing too crazy, just more of a, a simple clean cut haircut, right? All right. So if you're using like a really strong pomade, uh, water based, then that's something you probably want to wash off daily. Uh, but it's really important to use conditioner because there's nothing wrong with using shampoo. It's just oh, just making sure you know what type of shampoo you use because a lot of them are really bad. They use a lot of chemicals and that's just going to dry out and make your hair really look dead fry it so you want to make sure you get a decent shampoo and you want to make sure you use conditioner as so guys i say this a hundred times man stay away from that 10 in one shampoo that works as a uh your uh shampoo conditioner toothpaste uh mortar oil stay away from those don't be lazy grab a good shampoo grab a good conditioner number two wanting a hairstyle that doesn't fit your hair Oh my God, I'm a, I'm a, I know I'm gonna hurt some of you guys' feelings, guys, but I tell you guys all the time again, man, embrace your hair. Some hairstyles are just not gonna fit your hair type, your hairstyle. So you just gotta embrace what you got, man. I got guys with straight hair, one in curly hair. I got guys with curly hair, one in straight hair. And there are ways to achieve the hairstyle you guys want, but it, it takes extreme measures. And by that, I mean a lot of using a lot of chemicals. For example, if you got straight hair, I got a lot of guys, kind of popular trend right now is is having curly hair. So a lot of my straight hair guys are getting perms. And when you get a perm, it involves chemicals, which is really gonna dry out your hair. Um, and you're gonna have to do it, you know, it wears out, so you're gonna have to do it over and over and over. So the more you do it, of course, the more it's gonna damage your hair. It's gonna create breakage, it's gonna look dead, it's more kind of have that hay feel. Uh, same for guys with uh, curly hair. Guys with curly hair wanna have that clean cut uh, comb over, maybe a pompadour. And there is a way of achieving that, and that is with a relaxer. Now, same thing. It's a chemical, very harsh, very tough on your hair. It actually takes away the curl, makes it very straight. Uh, but again, it's going to damage it. It's going to give you that kind of wiry, dry feel, look. And if, that's, if it makes you feel good, if it makes you feel good, guys, go for it. But if we're sticking to having good, healthy looking hair, stay away from those chemicals and brace your hair. On to number three. Check it out, fellas. My hands getting a lot better. You see that? I got uh, uh, like about two more weeks with this, and I'm out of this thing. All right. So number three, fellas, is choosing the wrong barber stylist. All right. I get a lot of guys in my chair, which is great for me because I get a lot of new uh, clients this way. They come in here and, and I say, "Hey, my old barber. I asked him to try this style, try that that style, and he continues to give me the hair. It's the same hair uh, cut, right?" Well, it's time to move on, guys. Try someone new. Uh, try a new a barber, a new stylist. If not giving you what you want, after a few times, odds are they're, they're just not going to be able to, they just don't know how to do the hairstyle or they just really uh, specialize in a type of haircut. A lot of barbers only like to do like zero fades. Um, so that's all he can do. He's not going to do much with the top of uh, the length of your hair. If you're trying to get like a pompadour, uh, something that requires a lot of uh, sheer scissor work on the top of the hair. So again, keep in mind the place you're going to, the pricing, that's also going to affect it, you know, timing. Um, if you're looking for a $15 haircut, odds are they're going to knock it out in about 15, 20 minutes, uh, uh, you know, a haircut. So if you're looking for a nice haircut that requires maybe about an hour, you know, that $10, $12, $15 haircut, they're not going to achieve the one hour haircut and that time paying that type of price. But again, it varies in different locations, different places. But if they're messing up your hair, not giving you what you want, it's dabbing in your hair, guys. So choose wisely. Number four, fellas, the type of hair product you're using in your hair. <sighs> I gotta tell you guys, 
over and over again. There's a lot of cheap hair products out there in the market. And, you know, as guys, most guys, what, they look at the package. Oh, it looks super cool. It looks very manly. I don't know. They market to guys a certain way where just because it has this kind of a skater look, surfer look, uh, greaser style, that's the hair product I want. Guys, try to stay away from that and turn the product around and look at the ingredients in the product. A lot of these products use a ton of chemicals that are super harsh on your hair. Again, it's gonna dry it out, damage it. Uh, a lot of these have a ton of alcohol in it, which is gonna dry your hair out. And if you look at it, they're using maybe like over 20, 30 ingredients in it, man. So this should, the product shouldn't carry that many ingredients. Uh, here comes the plug. Try some Social Cut hair product, guys. I'm working on my new line, guys. As most of you guys know, I have my hair paste. And uh, yeah, man, I keep the, the, the ingredients in there very minimal. I wanna make sure to include only the products, uh, ingredients that we need that are gonna keep your hair looking good and healthy. Uh, some of the uh, ingredients include beeswax, which is that's gonna make sure you hold your hair and uh, able to style it the way you want. Uh, glycerin, which is a very good ingredient that's gonna make sure to keep your hair hydrated. Uh, that, you know, like other products have a ton of alcohol, it's gonna dry it out. Mine is gonna make sure it keeps it nice and hydrated so it won't look dead and dry. And kaolin. So that's gonna make sure to uh, absorb the oil and dirt. You know, sometimes when you use uh, other hair products, your hair gets all oily. So uh, this product is gonna make sure to, my product, to make sure to absorb the oil, dirt, uh, make sure to keep it hydrated and keep you guys looking good. But yeah, guys, overall, just make sure you guys pay attention to the product you're using. Look at the ingredients, you know, especially with the phones, it doesn't take long to uh, Google search and see what type of ingredients uh, they're using and what uh, each of these ingredients will uh, have a result on your hair. And number five, fellas, blow drying your hair too much. All right, well, first of all, there's a lot of guys that don't blow dry their hair enough. So uh, this is for the guys, well, if you're not, you need to blow dry your hair. Now, for the guys that are blowing, <laughs> scratch that. <laughs> for the guys that are blow drying their hair, uh, a lot of the guys that are using their hair, the blow dryer, they're using it a lot or just way too much and it's killing your hair and it's drying it out. So if you're spending more than, I don't know, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes blow drying your hair, uh, you guys want to make sure to use a heat protectant that you want to spray on your hair, use on your hair before, before you blow dry and that's going to make sure to uh, protect your hair. Uh, that way it doesn't cause any uh, ex excessive uh, dryness, it doesn't break your hair uh, and that way you can still achieve the hair style you want when you blow dry it. There you have it, fellas. Top five things that's damaging your hair. So hopefully these tips were uh, helpful. Uh, let me know um, if there's any other tips you guys want that um, you guys need to make sure to have your hair looking good. Um, if I miss something, there's some questions you guys have that you think might be damaging your hair. Love to answer those questions for you. So yeah, fellas, um, you guys need uh, any any answer? If you guys want me to answer any questions in person, so you guys need some help with your hairstyles, you guys want to find me at The Social Cut in downtown Pomona. So there you have it, fellas. Uh, show some love, man. If you guys enjoy these videos, you know, thumbs up. Social media, check me out at The Social Cut. And as always, fellas, subscribe to my channel. All right, fellas, we'll see you next time.